Hey guys, this is a video that I'm going to be doing of redoing our, it's kind of like a record player holder something. Um, anyway, we are about to redo our living room and some of the furniture that's in there. Um, it looks awesome. It's great. It serves a function. However, um, just kind of be budget friendly and wanted to just kind of revamp some of these pieces. Uh, eventually when we get our new couch and rug and stuff in there, the color of the furniture doesn't actually go with a lot of the things that we're going to be doing. So we're going to repaint them on an attempt. So this is a piece that's kind of like just by itself. So if it doesn't work, then we only ruined one piece. So anyway, you can follow along with me as we do this. Let's go. And so I've already gone ahead and gone and, and taken the legs off. You can see over here, they're the hairpin legs, just the black simple hairpin legs. Um, and then I've also already gone ahead and kind of just wiped off the, um, the top of the table. Um, that way there's not any dust or anything. So when we get started on painting um, the primer, which will stick to it, um, and the primer that I've used is actually pretty, pretty good. I've used it on a couple of other projects. It's the Kills All On Purpose 2 Interior Exterior Primer. Um, you, all you need is about two coats on this thing. And it's uh, pretty good that it'll stay and then we'll seal it. So as a little useful tip that I've learned, uh, if you take a plastic bag, just like a Walmart bag or anything, um, and you put it over your tray, you can save it for a little bit longer. However, you do want to make sure that you turn the bag inside out uh, because the writing and stuff, this is from uh, Winn-Dixie, but the writing and stuff will actually come off uh, when you start to use it for a little bit. Uh, so I always like to turn it inside out and that way it doesn't do that. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay, so in the beginning, I'm going to be putting it on uh, kind of smooth. Uh, what you want to do is make sure you're going all the way up and down on the paint. You also will see bubbles, but that's okay. Keep on going and just uh, roll over it very lightly to get those out. And you're just going to do that all over. Um, it's going to go on kind of, eh, but it'll, it'll attach to it very quickly. What a cute baby boy. Okay, so here again, I'm going to put it on the second coat. You can see it's going on a lot um, smoother and it's going on a little bit more full. Hey, so I wanted to talk to you about the paint that I'm going to be using. Uh, the paint that I've got is um, an acrylic paint. Uh, it's just a chalk paint, but it's uh, linen toil. Toilet. Anyway, uh, it was a chalk paint which goes on super, super smooth. Uh, you don't really have to use a lot of it. Got it from Hobby Lobby for. $9.99. So not too expensive. Um, I used this on another project uh, for a chair and it actually went on super super smooth. I only used like two coats on it and I think I might have used half of it if not like just a little bit more um, or a little bit less. But it works on really well so that's the paint that we are going to be using. All right, quick tip, here's what not to do. So if you notice on here, I'm gonna be painting over most of the canvas um, on here, but I skipped these two parts and because they weren't completely dry, but wait till they completely dry because then you have to go back and redo everything. So I put the legs on. Um, and I already did a second and third coat on it, but somewhere um, on there when I did the uh, primer, I didn't cover one spot, so like the paint didn't stick. So anyway, put some more paint on there, letting it dry. Um, but this is kind of it. This is how it'll look, minus that uh, little spot over there. Yeah, I think it'll look really good. All right, hey guys, this is the next day, and I've got some, I finished painting um, all the coats and stuff on there, and I've got some Helmsman um, uh, polyurethane, so you'll see how this kind of works on this to make it more like a wood kind of color, sort of, uh, but we'll see how this works. Are you ready? And here is the final look.
All right, hey guys, I hope you guys have liked this DIY kind of flip. Um, let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Um, my final thoughts on this, I don't think I'm gonna be doing this for the rest of my furniture. It was kind of a little inconsistent, but that may have been user error um, with a couple of these things. I don't know, it just doesn't, it doesn't hit me right. So I think what we're gonna do is um, let this one be a bust. Even though it doesn't look too bad, um, I just don't think that it's gonna work for the rest of our furniture that's kind of uh, the same, just dark with black metal accents on it. Um, I just don't think I'm gonna like it. So maybe we'll look for something different, but let me know what you think down below. Um, and thanks for joining me on this DIY flip. Bye guys.